In this morning's Health Watch, about 3,000 Americans wait for heart transplants each year. But because there are too few hearts to go around, roughly one-third of these heart patients will never get those transplants. However, there is new technology that can keep heart patients alive whether or not they ever get a transplant. Here's KPTV's Marilyn Deutsch. When 62-year-old Steve Keister rips open his shirt, it's not to show off his six-pack. He's showing off his battery pack, cords, and the tubular white drive line that leads to his heart, or rather to a pump installed in his heart that keeps his heart working. The machinery is called the Left Ventricle Assist Device, or LVAD. Without the LVAD, Steve would be dead. There was only two real options open. One, I go to hospice and I go home and I die. Or he gets the LVAD. And so the blood path is through. Providence doctors implanted the LVAD inside Steve five months ago. Before the LVAD, Steve's heart pumped sluggishly. I had major shortness of breath. I couldn't even walk across the room. Once it was implanted, Steve's heart started working more vigorously. Steve was never a candidate for a heart transplant because of his other medical problems. But he was eligible for the LVAD because his heart was so weak. People who are candidates for LVADs are those who have end-stage heart disease, uh, where the heart muscle is weak. Life for Steve now depends on battery power 24-7. There is some awkwardness involved, but he can enjoy life, especially spending time with his granddaughter. And three times a week, he goes to Salem Hospital for cardiac rehab. He's getting stronger and hopes to return to his work as a sportscaster in the fall. You may know him by his radio name, Steve K. Now just one of roughly a dozen Oregonians alive today because of this new medical technology. Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day, Oregon. A good way to stay heart healthy is to exercise, and we want to remind you that the Providence Bridge Pedal is coming up August 12th, and there's still time to register. If you'd like more information on this, you can head to our brand new KPTV.com and click on our Providence page.